Hello and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com, where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today, we are adding to another installment of Plant Stories. This one is for Peperomia, and the common name of this guy is Radiator Plant. This one is Peperomia obstifolia, and the cultivar is Golden Gate. You can see the pretty gold color on the leaf there, on the leaf structure there. So the uh, Peperomia is a genus of the pepper family. It comprises more than a thousand species of tropical and subtropical fleshy herbs and annuals and perennials, although only a few of them are cultivated for indoor growing like this lovely beauty here. It's uh, called the radiator plant because it is from the tropics and subtropics and it likes warm conditions which would be coming from the radiator, and also a nice bright light. Uh, radiators tend to be, depending on where they are, but they may be near, located near a window as well. As mentioned, they're relatives of the staple that you find in the kitchens, and that is black pepper, so Piper nigrum. They're heat-loving plants native to tropical and subtropical regions, as mentioned. They vary in appearance. So some of them have round leaves, some of them have a long, elongated leaves, some of them have flatter leaves, some of them have thicker leaves. There's a lot of different varieties of them in different colors. There's some ones with red, there's some ones with just deep green. It's actually kind of uh, difficult sometimes even to uh, know that you have two peperomias or three peperomias by looking at them, comparing them because they look so different. So uh, that's the fun thing about them that they are so, each, each of the uh, varieties are just so different. Their growth habits, those, those also vary, but the plant does tend to be a slow grower. So it, uh, it, it either a mounding, some do trail a little bit. This one stays in a nice uh, mound that just continues to get bigger, but it isn't, uh, uh, doesn't get all that much bigger. So if you want to have um, a, a, a bigger plant, you might want to plant a few of these in the same pot to get, to get that bigger plant going on. They, as mentioned, have a lot of different looks to them and some do trail. They are from uh, various areas of the world as mentioned. So that's one of the, the reasons for that. The uh, they are, there's about a hundred species of peperomia cultivated in the United States, although many are in the hands of collectors. So there's even fewer ones that you're going to find in the nurseries and on mail order uh, to grow like this one. So if you do find some different ones, uh, definitely snap them up because you never know if you're going to find them again. The uh, Peperomias, it's commonly agreed that they received their common name, the radiator plant, from American horticulturist Liberty Hyde Bailey, who, according to Charles Bixler Heisler in his 1985 book of called Of Plants and People, said that um, they uh, were the radiator plants uh, because of the, of, as mentioned, the fact that they like warm air and sunlight. However, keep in mind that they can tolerate wet and dry climates because they are from a variety of climates. So they are, that being said, they are very easy to grow indoors. Providing you don't overwater them, you will have really good luck with them. Some of the pepperoni species even have a spicy odor to the leaves when crushed and the leaves of some of the species are used to flavor drinks in some areas of the world. Uh, they do look like succulents. As you'll see, they have a succulent-like leaf and it is a thicker leaf. 
Um, but most of them, except for a few desert peperomia that you'll find in Peru, um, most of them are not desert plants. They do like moisture conditions. So try not to drought them too, too much uh, if possible. It's theorized that their, their leaves are thick because in their native habitat, they often grow as epiphytes hanging from trees without roots in the soil. So epiphytes are hang from generally trees and, uh, um, and even dead matter like old branches and things like that. And they don't have roots. Their roots are aerial, so they aren't inserted in soil and aren't getting their moisture from the soil. So uh, because of a lot of these in their native habitats grow as epiphytes, it's been theorized that they have these thick leaves in order to retain water uh, when, there, when there isn't any rainfall. So the water is stored in the leaves. And that does help you in terms of if you do forget to water this plant, uh, it does have some stored water. As mentioned though, try not to do that too often. And that is it for this lovely plant, radiator plant, AKA Peperomia. Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.